Hi, welcome to the channel. I'm Lauro Miller and I make videos about programming. In the previous video, we went through how to set up Node in your local machine so that you can write JavaScript locally. And as I said, today we're going to discuss three different ways that we can run JavaScript code. These are the browser REPL, the Node REPL and running JavaScript code with Node. I'll start by showing how to use the browser's console to run JavaScript code. You will come here quite often whenever you are developing web applications, mainly not to run code, but to inspect the output. Nonetheless, you can use this to also run JavaScript code. So this is what stands for a REPL. Uh, it, this means read, evaluate, print and loop, right? So it's an interactive console that you can run JavaScript. If I run to, if I want to write console.log hello world, for example, that is going to work just fine. It's going to print hello world. And I can do other things here. I can assign a value to a constant and then I can print that constant afterwards. Console.log x, for example, this is going to work, right? They can also clean this or clear the whole thing with console.clear. And that's a, a, a basic, I mean, it's, it's not a basic, it's fully fledged in, when it comes to REPL environments, but we are not going to use this very often to run JavaScript code. The second way is to use the terminal REPL or the node REPL. And this is done by simply running node without any files. If I run node without any files, you see that here it changes to this greater than sign and I can start executing JavaScript code here. So console.log again, hello world, like so. And it's going to output hello world. I can clear the console, console.clear. And I can run any, all, all types, all sorts of things here. So it's quite similar to the one in the browser. There are a few subtle differences, but I'm not going to go too much into detail here because this is not going to be the main way that we are the main venue that we're going to use to run JavaScript code. I will stop this by running control D or running control C twice, right? So if I run it once, it's going to tell me, okay, press it once again, and then you can exit the REPL. This is also a REPL, which means it, the behavior is very similar to the one from the browser. A third way, which we will use 99% of the times is to create JavaScript files and to run them using Node. So let's go to the IDE here. I can create a new file, let's say new file. And this is going to be again, hello world, like so dot JS. And here I will say console.log hello world. And once I save this, I can go back to the terminal and I can run node hello world. And this is going to output hello world on the screen. Files are definitely the way to go. The REPL is something, if, if there is something very small that I want to test, maybe sometimes we'll use the REPL, but files will be used 99% of the time. Okay, they, they make it much easier to build more complex programs to understand what is going on. The REPL is, is tricky to write multi-line comments. So files are just always the way to go. We will stick to files. Maybe in the beginning when we discuss syntax, we're gonna run, we're gonna use the REPL just to see how the main constructs look like. But then afterwards, we are gonna switch always to files. Amazing. As I said, files are gonna be used 99% of the time. I'm gonna always use files during the video so that I can better organize what I'm discussing and you can better follow the content. But it may be the case that in the online exercises, sometimes the REPL is gonna be a little bit faster. So it, we may use it there. Also, of course, if you're developing web applications, you will eventually come across the developer tools in whatever browser you're using. So we got to be familiar with all the three methods. In the next video, we're going to start the heavy lifting. It's an overview of the JavaScript syntax. So if you don't want to miss it, make sure to subscribe to the channel and you will get a notification once the video is published. See you in the next video. Bye bye.